Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We got uh, a Mark III Supra with us today. We're going to doing uh, we're going to be doing vol springs, uh, vol spring replacement, and vol stem seals. I got this new tool uh, from. Uh, it was a great idea from Pure Function from Ryan Scott. So I figured I'll show you guys how to use it. It's cheap. It's easy to use, and uh, it saves you from uh, you know buying that Toyo tool. So it's just a little tool here. I'll leave the link below. Basically, it bolts on the, where the cam lobes go, and then you use this tool to uh, to push the spring. But I'll show you in a bit how to do it. Uh, I got all the stuff organized here, but uh, we'll be working on uh, this Mark III Supra today. Bone stock. I used the rope trick, so uh, stay tuned. Let's get to it. Okay guys, so you've removed the cams, you've removed the timing belt, and you've exposed uh, all the valve springs. I'm assuming that you've already done that. But uh, to be able to replace these springs, we're gonna have to hold the valves up some sort. I mean, there's, there's two ways you can do this. You can do this by putting air on top of the piston that holds the valves up. Or you can shove a rope down on the piston and then curl it around and shove the piston up and you can compress the rope and the rope is what holds the valves up. Uh, I don't have a big compressor here, so the rope idea is what I'm using. I use a very thin, uh, soft rope. I mean, not very thin, but it's very soft. I mean, I've, I've used it a couple dozen times, so that's why it's all black. Um, but yeah, so it's a soft rope. We're gonna put it on top of the piston through the spark plug hole. So we're gonna put a screwdriver first. We wanna make sure the piston is, is bottom dead center. We shove the rope on top and uh, then push the piston up. Let's do that. All right, so I shoved about six feet of rope, uh, put the piston down, put more in there, and then put the piston up and it's pretty tight. So that means that the the valves are securely pushed up, and when we remove these springs, the valves are not going to fall down. So make sure you have about, you know, 10 to 12 feet of rope because you're going to put uh, about seven feet in there. So now, uh, you can you can use either or to remove the valve springs. Now these stock springs are very soft. I mean, you, you can push them with your hand. It's very easy to push them down. So I use this. This is part of my tool that I use for the when the head is off or you can use this tool you bolt it on the top you tie in there and uh, you're compressing the spring that way but I use this tool for the stiffer springs so we're gonna do this first okay so let's go all right so it's important you have a little magnet so when you push on the on the keepers you have something that's that's holding them down. So what I do is I give it a little tug first that kind of unlocks them and then you just push and the keepers come out. Now make sure you don't drop these because these are very little and they don't want to go in there. So ideally you want to cover all the galleys and stuff but I've done it so many times that I'm kind of used to it. So a little tug. Push down, and one came out, where's the other one, there you go, they're both there, and I put them on a magnet, that way you don't lose them, they stay there, stuck to the car, pull the springs out, and then we're going to pull the uh, the uh, the valve seal out. I'll show you in a bit. Okay, for the valve stem seals, I use this tool. It's a valve stem remover tool. Uh, you pretty much just go in there and you pull it out. And there it is. Now, every time you remove it, there's there's little pieces that stay in there. I don't know if you see it. There's a little piece of rubber there. You see it? 
So whenever you remove these valve stem seals, you want to make sure you go over what's left in there. There's always a little piece of debris left. Sometimes there's an O-ring in there. Uh, also, there's a little spring there. I don't know if you can see it. See that little spring on top? That's hold the seal. You want to make sure that that didn't drop in there. So you want to make sure you have that. So, you know, remove all the seals and then we'll next we'll put the new ones on. Now, I got new valve stem seals for this car. Uh, nothing too complicated. So you just put them on. Push them in. Just put all four in. Got two back here. Now remember, I've cleaned the rubber debris that was left from the old valve stem seals. It's important that you clean that out. Now to push these in, you can either use a Toyo tool or you can use, uh, I use a 10 mil socket that fits exactly around, around it. And make sure you get a little push. Clips in place. We'll do the other two. I don't like to use a hammer on these, just, I do it by hand. You kind of feel the little thug when it goes in. So you got, those are in. Then we'll grab the valve springs and uh, we'll show you the next part. All right guys, we got the new BC valve springs and BC retainers in. So we're gonna grab this tool, we're gonna bolt it up here. Phillips screwdriver. The tool doesn't come with these bolts, or you're gonna have to find some bolts that kind of are long enough. So that goes in. Then we put this guy here. So you want to make sure that you have room to put the keepers. You want to go a little further in, make sure that you have enough room for those keepers to sit. Sometimes the tool doesn't quite align perfectly. So you'll have to kind of fix it up a little bit. There. So now you can see there's an even, now you can see there's an even space there. So let's put the keepers in. I use, I use the magnet and I use a flathead screwdriver to put those in. And very, be very careful when you do this. I'll show you. All right, so this is how I do it. There's a few ways how to do it, but I put the keeper on a magnet. It's a small magnet. I'm gonna locate it and then I'm gonna make sure that it sits in place. There it is, you can see it. Kind of rotate it out of the way so I can put the other one. And always do one at a time, don't do both. But, so I'll put the other guy in. This is a very tedious job, but gotta be done. There, they sat on there. As you can see, they're sitting in place. Sometimes what I do is I hold it with the screwdriver while I'm loosening it, but there it is, all done. This one went in easy. Sometimes these keepers, man, they're a pain in the butt. You don't want to go in and then you put the other one and it goes away and moves, but yeah. So repeat the step for all of them and uh, then we'll uh, put the cams in. Well, five hours later, actually five, almost six hours later, there we go. Put everything back together. But uh, I don't want to bore you like putting all this stuff together because uh, I showed you one and uh, you just you just pretty much repeat the process but uh, yeah I just wanted to showcase this tool it's a pretty cool tool you know 
The back ones were pain. Um, no flying keepers, which is good, but the back ones were pretty pain. But uh, we'll put it back together. This uh, this guy has a Haltech Elite too that we might uh, put in in the future. But for now, it's just uh, ball springs and ball stem seals. So stay tuned for more. Take care.